This time of year, lots of kids are spending time outdoors riding bicycles, scooters, or skateboards. And parents should also be ensuring that their kids are wearing properly fitted helmets. This morning on Ask a Specialist, we'll talk about what you need to know with TJ Denari, an injury prevention and outreach coordinator and a nurse at the Queen's Medical Center. Hello, TJ. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Really important topic, especially with summer still sticking around with us. So what is the real importance of wearing a helmet? So wearing helmets, and there's many different types of helmets, is important because these helmets are made for different recreational activities, and it can reduce severe head injury and or death. Mm -hmm. Another thing we want to think about is during a fall or a collision, a lot of that impact energy. So what that means is a lot of that fort, when you're hitting your head against that, against the ground, the helmet's absorbing that rather than your head or your brain. Now with that, when you're looking for a helmet, are they all the same or how does that work? Yeah, this is a really good question and it mm -hmm. can get very confusing. So I have two helmets here today. This is a bicycle helmet and okay. you really can use this for bicycle or kick scooter. And this is a multi-sport helmet, which I'll be fitting later. This is for skateboarding, roller skating, aggressive trick skating, but there are a lot of different types of helmets and it can be very confusing how to choose them. So the Consumer Product Safety Commission made a great guide um, that goes over the different types of helmets and which activity. Um, again, great overview because they're also safety standards and I think we have to remember this and we do want to make ensure that we um, find those safety standards. Sometimes they can be in the interior of the helmet, the exterior or sometimes on our chin strap. We're going to kind of show how you properly fit and fit that helmet to your cakey or anyone else. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is Madden. This is my son. I'm going to have you hold this and this actually for one second. Yeah, Thank you. you. I can hold we got it. it. Cool. And so I think the first thing that's really important is people forget we need to actually measure your head. And yeah. we do it in centimeters. And we go, we do the inch, we do it around, around the head, around like... Sorry, it's like a lot of hair. So yep, but visible. this is what happens, and yeah. this is why we do it. And you go straight around the back, and it's mm -hmm. your biggest part of your head and your back. So for him, we've already pre-measured, but he's 50 centimeters. And the really good thing about this is that in inside here, it will actually give you the manufacturers have the size guides in here. So you oh, need to okay. follow, you, follow the manufacturer's um, instructions. So biggest thing is, and this is good, is that he has a lot of hair. You always want to push it back, because I'm going to tell you that is um, a big deal. Or when sometimes our... Um, you know, the keiki that have pigtails, we need to put those down because we want it to fit mm -hmm. on the head appropriately. Right. So first you want to do this, Madam, put your two fingers right there. You want to have it two fingers, sit two fingers above your eyebrows. You want to sit like a, wear like a helmet, be comfortable. The biggest thing is using this. I'm going to turn this, Madam, thank you. There's a V on each side. Those straps should be on each side, all right? Like a V sitting in front of your earlobe. After that, we strap. Make sure you don't snap anything. You'll see this, and then in the back, there's a turn dial. And you can see now that that makes it tighter. Mm -hmm. So when he pulls down, when he yawns, he'll feel that pull down on his, the helmet pull down on his head. And then if he really shakes it hard and it's loose, we can then adjust, make it tighter, and make it tighter on the, on the side straps. Great stuff. Yes. Thank you so much, TJ, and wonderful demonstration. To learn more about the services provided by Queen's Injury Prevention and Outreach Department, you can visit queens.org, click on Services, then click on Trauma, or you can call 808-691-7059. Great information again, TJ, and you're a great model. Also, Madden, thank you guys. Thanks for having us.